get a text, but now I ain't with it. About the best party that this city has ever seen. But I'm not tripping. Heard every adjective in existence in their foolish Facebook descriptions, but they ain't fooling me. Still, it's a Friday night, I'm feeling something. Hit up the crow, but they already so coming. Today, what you're going to see here in a few minutes, I'm going to do a time lapse of putting the 125 back together. So what we've done the last couple days, we painted the frame in the dark the other night because when you're working a, what should be a nine to five in the oil field, it's not real easy to find time to build dirt bikes, but we got it done. Main frame came out awesome. A few light spots, but mainly stuff that's gonna be hidden by the tank and other plastics. The main part of the bike that you're gonna see came out fantastic. Same with the swing arm, we got the graphics already on there. The sub frame came out fantastic. I went pretty heavy on the Duracoat this time. As you can see, it's got some light and dark spots that I would even out, but I was going more for thickness in order to basically keep my boots from rubbing this completely clean. So we're basically just gonna see how that holds up. I mixed my Duracoat a little differently. I went with more hardener and less paint, which is a little more expensive and may or may not work, but there's only one way you really find out. So, that's the suffering. Next up is the pipe. And if you follow my Instagram, you probably saw that the pipe at one time, this is an FMF factory fatty, so it was bare metal. Um, Somehow some moisture got to it, even though it never rains out here, and it rusted. Long story short, I painted it that color. I absolutely hated it, so I decided I haven't had a black pipe in a long, long time. So, we gave it a shot. Came out pretty good, some light and dark spots, but more so due to the fact that I didn't blast it clean again. I wanted to see what would happen when I went with two coats of Duracoat instead of just one. So mainly what we're doing is protecting the pipe here and we'll see what happens to it when it gets uh, put up to the heat of the engine and a couple rides on it. So like I said, I will be doing a follow-up video to show how this stuff is hold, held up and whether or not I'm gonna transition into Cerakote and ultimately eventually having a larger uh, oven to bake this stuff in. So, that's the pipe. That's mainly the bike for now. So sit back and enjoy the next few minutes of what is going to be a time lapse of me getting this thing mainly put back together. Flashing lights, big old city, you'll never look so pretty. Like it do, like it do, in this hotel room. Baby, take it off. I can dive a little deeper. When 
Nothing's what a guy 